Hello, my name's Dave Goulson and I'm here to tell you a little bit about my new book which is called A Buzz in the Meadow. I've been studying insects for about 30 years, mainly bumblebees. Bumblebees are my speciality. Uh, they're the big furry stripy cousins uh, of, of the honeybees that, that, that people keep in boxes and we get honey from. Um, and uh, one of the things I, I like to explain to people is just how important bees are, uh, that we should, we should all appreciate these little creatures for what they do for us. Um, uh, so just to give you some, some boring statistics, three quarters of all the crops that we grow in the world need pollinating by insects. Mostly it's done by bees, but it can be done by flies and other insects. Um, uh, and so, so our diets would be really poor if we didn't have these things to pollinate our crops. So you imagine um, going to the supermarket and there were no fruit, there were no veg, there was no chocolate, there was no coffee. That's what you'd be looking at. Um, if it weren't for these little creatures, we'd basically be reduced to eating uh, porridge and uh, rice and bread, which would be pretty dull. Um, so should we, we should be very grateful to our, to our bees. Um, and sadly, they, they're in trouble. They're declining. They're, they suffer from all sorts of problems. The biggest one is that we've kind of modern farming isn't very friendly to bees. We've got rid of um, most of the flowers that we used to have in the countryside. Um, uh, and also, bees are being exposed to, to pesticides and diseases and so on. And this this kind of combination of, of things that we're throwing at them. Um, it's causing some species to, to decline. Some species have actually gone extinct, which is really sad. Um, uh, and, and we really need to do something about that. And actually, a buzz in the meadow is, is largely focused on um, a farm. I bought a, a field in France. Um, it used to be a, a wheat field. And I'm turning it into a nature reserve, a place where, where all these creatures can thrive. Um, uh, so it's, it, and I spent the last 11 years sowing wildflowers, trying to encourage uh, the, uh, this whole diversity of lovely creatures uh, back onto the land. Um, and the book is all about that, and it's about the butterflies and the beetles and the dragonflies and the grasshoppers, and also the newts and some mammals, stone martins and all sorts of other things, which are slowly colonising. Um, but on a different level, it's also, it's also an attempt just to explain to people how amazing and interesting these things are. I've already told you how important bees are. People don't actually really appreciate, uh, or many people don't appreciate, um, uh, how important all these other things are, like flies and beetles and so on. Many of them do really vital things, like helping to recycle nutrients, getting rid of dung. The world would be full of animal dung if we didn't have beetles and flies to get rid of it. Corpses wouldn't disappear unless there were flies to, to, to eat them. Um, the whole ecosystem depends upon little insects, millions of them, going about their, their quiet business, and we really need to appreciate them for doing that and look after them. But even the ones that don't do anything particularly important economically that helps us, they're just amazing, they're fascinating little creatures. There's so many stories associated with them. Um, and, and most of it is undiscovered. Um, so for example, I, I, I go on in the book about the mating behavior of Death Watch beetles. I'll leave you to read the book. Um, but it's really fascinating. They're boring looking little beetles to look at, but their behavior is, is wonderful and intriguing. And most insects we've never even looked. Uh, so what I really hope the book does is it encourages you to go out and get down on your hands and knees and, and look at these little creatures that live all around us, that lead, lead these wonderful, interesting, fascinating and important lives. Thank you.